I think it is now safe to assume that everybody who cares, and doubtless many who don't, is aware of Stephen Moffat's decision to cast the great Peter Capaldi in the role of the 12th, or arguably 13th, incarnation of the Doctor. Capaldi, a long-term fan of the show, who has even drawn Doctor Who artwork, will be the third Scottish actor to play the role on television. He appeared as a Roman art dealer opposite Tennant's Doctor in Fires of Pompeii, which also featured Karen Gillan years before she'd play Amy Pond. He was also in the third season of Torchwood. The response seems to have been somewhat mixed. Seasoned fans are pleased to see an established actor. Teenage fangirls have complained they don't fancy him. He's 57. We want to point out William Hartnell was 57 and played it older, and that if you'd really stop watching a show because you don't want to sleep with the lead, you are not a true fan. Personally, I do think Capaldi has sex appeal, but then I'm not a teenager. What do I think of the decision? When I first heard the rumours, it struck me as likely he would be cast. It is not a huge surprise. People tend to refer to Capaldi as the shouty Malcolm Tucker in the sitcom The Thick of It and movie spin-off In The Loop, but that's just a bandwagon. I've been a fan of Peter Capaldi since I was 15, and he plays the Angel Islington in Neil Gaiman's fantasy horror comedy serial Neverwhere. And if you want a taste of what a Peter Capaldi doctor might be like, and you want to see an often overlooked gem, and keep listening. Back in 1996, people compared Neverwhere to Doctor Who. Who was to know that Gaiman would one day go on to write for a new Who series? This was the year the Yanks bought the show, don't forget. Now, Patterson Joseph, who has been considered for the Doctor in the past, plays the Marquis de Carabas, and immediately there was buzz about what if he starred in a future Doctor Who. The Marquis was more Doctorish than many Doctors, if you're a purist. A dodgy hobo, dark, mysterious, breaks the rules, can be ruthless, the ultimate anti-hero. Ultimately heroic, and even sacrificial, because he understands the greater good. Peter Capaldi's character, the Angel, doesn't appear in the first few episodes, and is even murkier. He is a real-life Angel, but serves a penance, because he was in charge of looking after Atlantis. Not wishing to give any spoilers, he is as dark a character as an angel could be, until Moffat started writing Doctor Who at least. The Angel Islington is ancient, otherworldly, at once light and dark, and yet the people of London below trust him. He has a very dark past. In fact, although he was meant to be on the side of goodness, he is responsible for the demise of a whole civilization. He also manages to talk softly and move gently, while nevertheless being scary as fuck. Seventeen years later, and having been passed over for the role in favour of Matt Smith four years ago, this is the actor who will play the Doctor. Four years of young, wacky, funny, energetic Smith, we now have the possibility of seeing not only a truly dark Doctor, but is it me, or does Capaldi have something of Tom Baker about him? Stephen Moffat promised that with the new Doctor we would see the show take a whole new direction and be renewed. If that is true, the next era of Doctor Who, with Capaldi in the lead, should be utterly excellent.